similar to Black Marsh. Other stories of those provinces we don't have too much information about, yet we know the some of the events that are going on. We don't know the details of those set events, but we would love to know more. Now, I would love for the next Elder Scrolls game to include Elsewhere to some extent. I know ESO just released a new DLC pack including Elsewhere, and that is the first look into Elsewhere since Arena, which was released a long time ago. Now essentially before we dive into the fourth era, like all the recent histories, we like to go into, or I like to go into, the late third era events because that helps explain why things are what is going on in the third era and why it's happening. Ironically enough, there are no surviving literature records from Elsewhere until the year 394 of the third era. and. That's when the Five Year War begins. So essentially, the Bosmiri forces were attacked by the Khajiit forces, and essentially the Khajiit claim was that over a thousand Khajiit citizens were killed in an invading Bosmiri force from Rallenwood without provocation, while the Bosmer claimed that the attack was in retaliation for disruption in trade resulting in Khajiit raids on Rallenwood's wood caravans. Well, this war obviously would end in 399 because it's, you know, the Five-Year War. With the Khajiit victory following the tactical and strategic moves by Khajiit tribesmen that were seen as impressive by both foreign and domestic commentators and essentially would lead into the Khajiit forces occupying the Xylo River, which is in Valenwood. Uh, that is really the only event following this except for the Oblivion Crisis. Oblivion is the major event that happened in the Third Era and what ended it. So in the wake of the Oblivion Crisis in 433 of the Third Era, the city of Remen declared its independence from the Ellisburg Confederacy and the Third Empire essentially becoming independent. Well, the main of Ellisburg was then assassinated in the early Fourth Era prior some time to 49 of the Fourth Era, and Ellisburg is also independent at this time of the Empire. However, since the main died, they ended up being consolidated and assimilated back into the Empire and would rejoin it, but we don't really essentially know why or if the main's death was the main reason that they joined, which is entirely so and entirely possible because the death of a leader, of a major leader, would see a huge power vacuum and the Empire is always there to fill it. And at the time, the Dominion wasn't as strong or as capable as we see it today. Now, ironically enough, like most conflicts that happened in the late Third Era, the Empire didn't get involved with the Five-Year War. Now, essentially, it's a war of their provinces, yet they didn't get involved. And it's ironic to think that the only event that the Empire really does typically get involved in is in Skyrim, which is unique enough to think because they didn't get involved in the Hammerfell Civil War, they didn't get involved in the Five-Year War, and they didn't get involved of the War of the Blue Divide. So essentially, it's kind of hard to see why the Empire picks and chooses their battles. They also didn't get involved in the sacking of Orsinium until the latest sacking of Orsinium happened. But essentially, let's ignore all that at this point, because it's a lot of that doesn't get involved with elsewhere at least. But the Empire didn't get involved, and essentially Uriel Septim VII had been back at the throne and tried to give the land back to the Bosmer, but the Khajiit had already settled down and refused to leave. And the Empire essentially just said, okay. They were either convinced that the land rightly belonged to the Khajiit, or that they, they just didn't simply want to cause another war. But regardless of which, uh, one last event that happened in the Third Era uh, was that the fact that they had a conflict with the county of Leowin, and essentially at or before the year 432 of the Third Era, there was a conflict or border conflict between Elsewhere and the County of Leowin. A long-lasting dispute res resulted in an agreement between the Main and Marius Curi Caro, who is the Count of Leowin, leading a into a result of territory loss between the the two, between Elsewhere and, and Leowin. Essentially, Elsewhere would lose land, and it was comparable to that of the Five Year War. They would, didn't lose that much land, and this agreement, however, was not accepted by Al Khajiit, and so the Rangira Karin tried to take back the land, and they were a group of pirates, essentially. So what is going on in Elsewhere in the Fourth Era? Well, essentially, we covered a little bit. We talked about the dissolution of the Ellisburg Confederacy into a little bit, into a little bit of detail here, where we get the independence of Ellisware. So Ellisware declares its independence from the Third Empire and becomes the Ellisware Confederacy. But at the time, we also have the independence of Remen, which Remen becomes its own independent city-state outside of the Ellisware Confederacy as well. However, then the Ellisware Confederacy would then be dissolved into the Empire once more. However, it would also be brought back. So really, it's kind of confusing when this all starts to go on. But 
The economy of Ellisware is actually booming at this time, and this is all due to the moon sugar trade. And essentially, moon sugar creates skooma, and skooma is highly addicting. And under this influence, the formerly dangerous slum of Senchal rose to be a very prominent resort and a highly highly powerful city-state and was basically one of the strongest economical cities in all of Tamriel and essentially what this happened what caused by this is that there's a sh sugar trader named Yatajari who even rumored to live in the city had p paid all the guards to keep the city crime free and this continued his business in Torval, Corinth and Remen which kept that whole kingdom essentially prominent and make Remen a powerhouse in the north and this is important because essentially Remen will become the next capital of the kingdom of Anaquina. Now, obviously, the Oblivion Crisis happened, and the Potentate was assassinated, and then around the year 48, the Main was assassinated as well. This caused Southern Ellisware to sink into chaos. The North was relatively strong, and this was due to the fact that they had a very large, booming economy. They were able to keep e each other together. Now, the South fell into a lot of chaos, and essentially wasn't able to reclaim control, because the clans in the South were unable to work with any of the Gajit in the cities, and it led to a lot of really just disorganized warfare and tribal conflict between one another. Now, in the year 98 of the Fourth Era, Masur and Secunda, the moons, vanished entirely from the sky, which caused the Khajiit to planet panic because the moons have everything to do with how Khajiit are born. This was called the Void Knights, and essentially, they would the moons would end up coming back, and the Thalmor would claim responsibility for bringing them back, and then we don't really know if that actually happened or if the Thalmor actually brought them back, but within the following 15 years, uh, the year 115 of the Fourth Era, the emp Empire's influence of in Ellisware had virtually diminished and was then effectively wiped out after the coup which dissolved the Ellisware Confederacy entirely and resulted in the recreating of the kingdoms of Anaquina and Palatine, which are client states of the Almiri Dominion, which essentially they pay tribute to the Dominion. Now, that is basically where we are at the present day. What is going on with the rest of Ellisware? We're at 201 of the 4th era, and essentially, they're just client states, and they seem to be content of being so. So, there's not too much of what's going on. We don't, Like I said, we don't have a lot of information. So, for all we know, there could be a lot of discontent of the Eldmary Dominion in Elsewhere, but there also could be a lot of, you know, happiness among them. You know, the Khajiit were thankful for the Void Knights, because the Void Knights control how the Khajiit were born, and how what determines what kind of Khajiit you're going to be. So there's a lot of information that has to do with that, and since the Thalmor claims responsibility for bringing them back, that has to do with a lot of how, uh, how religiously, I mean, it's religiously important to the Khajiit. Now essentially, we don't know again like what's going on, what kind of crises or chaos or the feelings toward the Dominion are, but we do know the fact that it is most likely that the northern part, Anaquina, is more more sympathetic to the Empire, while Palantine is more sympathetic to the Elmeri Dominion. And this has to do with the comparison to Valenwood, where trade and bustling trade networks are going to be connected from northern Valenwood to the Empire, and as well as the northern Empire, or the northern Empire, to the uh, northern Ellisware to the Empire. And we see this because there's a huge economic boom and trade network between northern Ellisware, and they most likely are trading within the Empire as well. And so, do you still create those ties and those relationships between the two factions, whereas Southern Ellisware was in a lot more turmoil, they're a lot more disorganized, and the Almeri Dominion brought that resolution and that conflict to ease, and the two nations were most likely, or the two kingdoms are most likely more friendly. So, that is my skept uh, my skepticism there, that is my speculation on that part at least, but I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I've been just going straight into the lore lately, I just think that is, might be a little bit better of an idea there. I kind of liked that format too, just jumping into the lore, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Ellisware is by far my favorite province to go over because the Khajiit are my favorite race in Ellisware, or Ellisware, they're my favorite race in all of the Tamriel universe, so essentially I would love to see when the next Elder Scrolls involve Ellisware more, but I'd just be happy with another Elder Scrolls at this point. But really, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you want more content like this, please give it a like. It lets me know you're enjoying the content. And if you're new to the channel, you just stumbled upon the video and uh, just didn't know what to think of it, please uh, consider subscribing. You know, I post videos four times a week and one show monthly. So essentially, I try to, you know, balance things out pretty well. And I hope you enjoyed that as well if you're a newcomer. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace.
I like how I do this all now when I have an end screen. Like, I don't have to keep en ending the video here because I have an end screen now. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just uh, let the end screen come in now. If you just happened to stumble upon this video and enjoyed, maybe consider subscribing. If you are a returning subscriber and you enjoyed, please hit that like button. It really helps way more than you actually think it would. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace.